Okay, guys, we're back. It's been a week since our last video. Roan's getting naked on video. Anyway, there's been obviously lots going on this week, lots of updates. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get stuck into it. So we've introduced the Inertion Loyalty Program at the start of this week. The idea behind this, and I guess the other way of saying it is rebate to wait. It's a loyalty program, it's a credit, an instant credit for people who have been waiting. Waiting absolutely sucks. We fully understand how bad waiting is and we've had to do everything to make the product better. I think everyone understands that, but you guys shouldn't be punished. So we wanna give you credit uh, in the store so you can get replacement wheels, upgrade your wheels, get some cool stuff to upgrade your Raptor 2s when you get it so be sure to contact us if you don't get your credit um the details here on the screen if you want to read through exactly what you get and when you get it but it's an ongoing credit we're going to keep giving it to you every month until you get your board so we're committed to our delivery dates we can see the light at the end of the tunnel and we are definitely going to deliver soon and you're going to get paid whilst you wait the Fox Box, yes, the Fox Box. Obviously, we use this in the Raptor 2 and we sell them separately on our website. And uh, we haven't really mentioned this much, but supply has been really tight. There's been a few uh, times where we thought maybe we're going to run out <laughs> and not be able to build Raptor 2s. Fortunately, we've secured heaps of MOSFETs now and. We've got Fockbox back on the website, so you can order that now. Um, so crisis averted with that. Okay, the wheels. We've been testing the new samples of wheels. Uh, good news is I also got some of these delivered to me for testing. So not only has our production team been testing in China, I've also had the opportunity to see them firsthand and ride them here. And good news is the samples aren't cracking and deteriorating like we saw with the last batch of faulty wheels. So that's very reassuring news. Um, uh, I was shocked, to be honest, that we had to deal with this problem considering the first batch of wheels we got from this factory were great. Then they basically were bad and now we've confirmed new samples again. So hopefully they'll be good again. Um, but of course, if you've ever got any problems and you think you've got a manufacturing fault, you just let us know. We've got 24 seven chat on our website and you can report any problems you like. So that's the, that's the old formula. Last batch, yep. Just completely disintegrating. And this is the new one. So we spoke about water ingress testing last week. We were still waiting on the seals. They took forever for us to develop to do. They took forever for us to develop and we've finally got them in stock now. You can see the picture in the bottom left there. They are the new seals. We're gonna send them out to anyone who needs them to replace the old seals. But the good news is everything's fitting together really well now as it was designed to do. And we've got no water leaking into the case. So we're super pumped about all of these updates. It's taken months to get right. And now all these parts are available and in the Raptor. Uh, there's a link in our email if you want to quickly press on that link in the email so you can get a form on your screen and fill out with all of your details, your address. We're just wanting to get your latest details because perhaps you've moved or the details in our website are not right. So be sure to click on the link, fill out the form and we'll get the updated seal sent out to you so you can do the upgrade at home. The base plate retainer. It's hard to see in this picture here, but it's basically a thin piece of aluminium. It goes under the truck and on top of the truck riser. The purpose of this was to 
prevent the lid from popping out of position. We've had reports from probably sort of the, the bigger riders on the Raptor 2 where they're flexing the deck a little bit and it's causing that part to pop out. With this new aluminium plate in place, that should be impossible. Um, and it will be included in all Raptors from now on anyway, so that we never have to worry about that ever again. Production update. Fortunately, we're seeing Raptors in boxes on pallets again. It's been way too long since we saw that picture, but we're starting to really get through our backlog. We've been held up with so many bottlenecks related to parts not being right and adjusting things and just not being able to produce. We've got all the parts. 95% of the inventory is sitting in our production facility just waiting to go together and finally with all these new parts here we can build raptors put them in boxes and get them delivered we got 110 i believe done uh and in boxes yesterday so that's great news and next month is going to be our biggest month on record in terms of how many raptors get built and put in boxes so good news finally so we've also got some exciting news for anyone who hasn't ordered a raptor and is thinking about it from now on you'll actually be ordering a raptor 2.1 we've sold the first and second batches of raptor 2 and now we're officially announcing the raptor 2.1 and it includes all of the design changes all of the new parts that we've been talking about over the last few months they're all included in it Plus, you get the Foxbox Unity motor controller, which we've been developing behind the scenes, and we're going to start releasing a little bit more information about that. The Foxbox Unity is a big step up for us in terms of production efficiencies. It's going to allow us to build the Raptor much quicker. It's much simpler because there's no additional wires, and the, the, the total setup time of two normal fox boxes can be anywhere between five to eight minutes um it's too fiddly for mass production and there's too many problems that can go wrong and slow down our production the fox box unity it's one unit you just plug the motors in there's still a little bit of a setup process with some software but it's all optimized it's much quicker and we're excited to get that in our Raptor. So we're now calling it a Raptor 2.1. If you order now on our website, that's what you're ordering. And we're expecting to see those Raptor 2.1s shipping sometime after August with all the updated parts. I've also written a blog about all the updates. You can check that out, that out on the Inertion website with all the extra details about the different upgrades that are included. And... Also, in other very exciting news, we've rethought our warranty. You've always been able to get longer warranty on the Raptor 2, but we're just tweaking it. We like to make things the best they can be. You've probably noticed that. We think one area that needs a lot of focus is our service and our warranty. We're going to introduce a replacement warranty for the Raptor 2. Basically, what that means is if you have a fault and we can't get the parts to you because you live really far away from our repair agents or it's just not feasible or viable due to any number of reasons we're just going to send you a new raptor we haven't finalized the details yet we'll do that over the next week or so but we're really excited about this it's going to be one of the best warranties in the entire electric skateboard industry we want to be the leaders in that so more news about our replacement warranty coming in the next few weeks. Thanks for listening.